Joe Flum, agronomist with Nature's. Uh, today I'm going to illustrate some examples of phosphorus placement and phosphorus efficiency. How we get numbers of phosphorus efficiency. And there's a lot of uh, people in the industry right now that, that kind of have efficiency math. And I mean there's, there's not an exact science when we talk, start talking about efficiency math. Well, to give you an example, when we uh, have, I have two illustration drawings here, one with, and, and we have the uh, purple here would be the seed applied phosphorus, and then down here we have kind of an example of broadcast phosphorus, of a dry granular material being broadcast. So with that, we're going to talk about the placement of phosphorus, um, and then I'm going to couple in phosphorus efficiency as we go along. So right here, let's just say we've applied uh, five gallons of nature's seed applied, which is, you know, depending on the analysis, let's say we have ten units of available P205, 100% available P205, ten units. Down here, let's say that we put a 100 pounds of a dry material, dry phosphate material, giving us 50 units of P205 down here. And just to show you, because we know that phosphorus doesn't move in the soil, it uh, moves by diffusion. So I mean, it's it's going to pretty much stay wherever it's at. We get a little bit of movement, but not much. So if you can think of diffusion, how diffusion is, and compared to mass flow and root interception, diffusion is if you can take this this uh, marker here and you put it on the the pin, you know, it's going to swell out a little bit. That's diffusion, moving from an area of high concentration to low concentration. So, anyways. Let's talk about this placement here. If the name of the game is elevating our extractable phosphate or our water-soluble phosphate, we put 100 pounds of a dry material on trying to elevate our P205 levels 5 part per million with 100 pounds, which, which can be done in some scenarios. So right here, what if I tell you that we can use 50 pounds of material or 5 times less the amount of P205 and elevate it 10 part per million? Well, when we say that, we're not elevating the whole soil profile, we're actually elevating the profile where the corn plant is actually growing. So the other side of this is, this seed applied starter, five gallons of nature's, is not going to carry the whole crop. It's only going to give it the first 30 days that it needs and develop a larger root architecture, It's going to, a larger root system rather than waiting for your soil temperatures to heat up, to have a little bit more available phosphorus, and this, uh, your, your broadcast phosphorus to, to move and to get worked in, um, because it's, it's going to lay right there in the top part of the soil. So this is kind of how we, we figure out some of that math. Just by using 100 pounds here, we used 50 pounds, 5 gallons, 10 pounds per gallon, um, 10 units of P205, 50 units of P205, right there there's a 1 to 5. However, like I said, the back side of that is five gallons of Inferro, Nature's Inferro, will not carry the whole crop. We still need to sustain you know, our soil test levels at adequate, adequate ranges. Um, so this is, this is kind of the idea of where we get those efficiency math, that efficiency math from, and then and that's based on the placement of phosphorus. Um, so I hope we have a little better understanding of phosphorus, phosphorus efficiency, and placement. Thank you very much.